because one of the most contested ideas in the social sciences is the idea of innateness. And the, the idea is, well, if something is innate, then it can't, it can't vary across societies. And if it varies across societies, then it's not innate. And if gender varies, if masculinity or femininity vary across societies, then it's not innate. It's socially constructed. But that's the wrong understanding of innateness. Um, the definition that I use comes from Gary Marcus, who's actually a neuroscientist here at NYU. He says, innate doesn't mean hardwired. There's almost nothing interesting that's hardwired. Innate means structured in advance of experience, but then experience can still revise it. And boy, does that work for gender, for almost everything. For fears. For, yeah, that's right, almost everything. We're not a blank slate about anything. And something I used to tell my students at UVA, I taught at UVA for 16 years, is, you know, everything's a social construction. Masculinity, femininity, cancer, the sun, death, everything there's a social construction for. You won't find a society that doesn't have thoughts about these things. But the fact that societies have social constructions tells us nothing about whether there's not also an underlying biological reality. And in almost all cases, there is. 